right, so last video I bragged on this deck because it brought me all the way to freaking diamonds in like just a couple of days of casual playing. Uh, and like obviously diamonds not mythic and I do not have, I do not have the time to try to grind up to mythic with this deck, but I do want to see how this will do in diamonds. So let's, let's try this, this, this bad boy out. I'm super excited. I really want to see. I have a feeling I'm going to get my butt whooped, though. Because I haven't changed this deck since Platinum. I have a pretty... Actually, you know what? I have a pretty good starting hand. My only creature, though, costs four, so... Um, I don't know about that. Green. All right. I see you. Dang, where are all my second spell turn cards at? Don't remove my paladin class. Please and thank you. I see playing elves. I don't want to deal with elves right now. I don't think this deck is built for elves. I know this deck is built for wolf decks in the current meta because there have been quite a few wolf decks that I have I have overtaken oh maybe it is maybe it is I don't even there we go I don't know if I have the right deck for this but here we go here we go so we'll pacify this one candle trap whatever he plays next probably unless he does that stupid one costing fight this creature fights that creature card. Please don't do that. Frick. Okay, we'll pacify this, play code spell at least. Next turn we could do Blade Historian. <laughs> Not a strong start though. What, is, what are you? Death touch? Can you not? Can I? I need a candle trap of that. And get rid of it. Actually, you know what? Oh, other tapped creatures you control have death touch. Um... Should I candle trap that or should I candle trap the area? Should I block and kill it? Candle trap that. Oh, you know what? It's just one damage. I think I'm gonna hold off for a bit. There we go. There we go. Let's do, I think, if I can get Blade Historian out, that's gonna create a flyer. I can get rid of. We'll get rid of the Viper's Fang next turn. Um, might as well not swing. That's not gonna do any damage to me, but it's not worth it. It's just gonna block and nothing's gonna trade. Uh, here's the thing though, if I play Blade Historian next turn, I have to wait an additional turn before I destroy that one. Okay. Swarm Shambler. I've not seen this card before. Alright. I'll take it. Take it like a freaking champ. Should I get rid of this guy? I don't think I should. Let me get rid of that guy. That's what I want to do. Target of a spell an opponent controls. Okay, so I just can't target it. Alright. I'm gonna go with I do double strike and he blocks with Viper's Fang. Yeah. That'll get rid of him. Because he can't block the spirit. Code Spell Cleric has Vigilance, so he'll remain untapped if I need him. Probably for this boy. Don't do anything. <laughs> what do you have in your hands? Okay, Blizzard Brawl is at least a sorcery. 
Sir, you should not do anything to me. Back. Double strike. Four, eight, ten. He doesn't block. Oh, yeah, and if he blocks with a Viper's Fang, that gets rid of the Death Touch dealio. What are you going to do? Are you going to throw Jespera in front of one of my creatures? Oh, he has reach. Ah, oh, frick. Well, there goes my spirit. Got my one spirit. I can't remember. I gained the next level in the classes as a sorcery, but I don't think they count as spells. I'm pretty sure. I'm surprised he's not double blocking Clarion Spirit. Yeah, there we go. You got it. You got it. You can do it. I would I would prioritize damage to swarm though. I don't want to deal with those cannons. <laughs> wow, he did not double lock. Why <laughs> it's so bad? He should have at least double blocked. Oh no. Or done just spare on the spirit if he didn't want to double block. What are we waiting for? Good sir. Is it my I don't have any <gasps> game's not letting me do anything. <laughs> Alright, good sir. <laughs> I just saw his name tag was New York Assassin. Oh my goodness. Okay, unfortunately if Jasper attacks it still has death touch, but I think I think this time I'll take the one damage. I'm not gonna do with it. No. 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 Don't like that. Frick that. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting about SCK's carry. I need to use this card, honestly. Freaking cats, man. Okay, you know what he should do? He should just not attack. I think that would be a great strategy. We need crew at instant speed. Wait, hang on. Can you... Like, could he crew to block? Ooh, ooh, look that up real quick. Wow. Oh, <laughs> it's our people. Great. Uh, well, we'll just we'll just throw both of them out unless he does something. Apparently, I'll do this. Get another little spirit guy. Let's see. You know what? Double strike means if he blocks my spirit with Jasper, Jasper is going down with my spirit. At least. He blocks with the cats. Those also die. They don't trade. Because. Yeah, because of first strike. So I think I think this time I can attack with everything. Oh, here's the thing. Can he crew? He could probably crew with the Viper's Fang still. And Werewolf Pack Leader. Let me look this up before combat. Um... Gosh, Magic the Gathering. Who else? Hmm. I don't know. That's what you're gonna do. Well, if he blocks, I have double strike on my critters. Hmm? Will they... I would like to get rid of... I would like to get rid of Asika's Chariot. I really, really would. But is it worth it? I have star pupils. I have this other spirit. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna attack with my spirit. And no, let's just not attack with blade historian. Go for it. Freaking block me. I'd love to get rid of Essie's chariot. I guess, I guess that answers my question. If he could crew at instant speed, he would have waited. But he waited. Until right before combat, so that that answers my question. You gonna you gonna trade Jess Vera? I 
gonna do? I don't think he thought that I would attack. I don't think he's willing to trade a Seeker's Chariot either. It's a good card. He's losing his timeouts. I. You can hit that, Oh my goodness, you weren't even gonna block. Do I outnumber it? Let's see. Hang on. One, two, three, four. He puts out another creature. One, two, three, four, five. If he has a creature in his hands. He taps Werewolf and Surith to crew a Sika's Chariot next turn. If I swing with everything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have seven. He'd have five creatures able to block. Double strike means... I have... <laughs> I have... I have lethal. Honey, you can't... Oh. Oh, you're gonna attack me now. What do you have in your hand, good sir? I can't attack or block, though. I would have kept the Viper's Fang. Yeah. I would have kept the Viper's Fang untapped because at least you can use them to block. Um... So he's attacking for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could take, I could take it. Nothing has trample though. <laughs> so if I just, um, it doesn't matter which one I block at all. Altus, if I just block those, <laughs> put my, put my star people's counters on other kitties. Let's put them on the, let's spread them out. So everything has power to use so many things caps now. I'm guessing he didn't have a response in his hands. <gasps> Y'all, this deck can win in diamonds. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm having a blast with this deck. Again, updated deck list will be down below in the description. And, uh... For, thanks for stopping by. If you liked what you see, you can even click subscribe. That felt like a rhyme, but don't remember what I said before it, so have a great night.